France planned to send 2,000 troops to Ukraine, Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service has declassified a report by an operative who stated in March that France was preparing to send a contingent of about 2,000 soldiers to fight in Ukraine. The briefing was published in the latest issue of the service's Scout magazine. In it, an operative using the pseudonym Felix claimed that the French army was concerned about the increased number of Frenchmen killed in the Ukrainian theater of military operation, particularly after Russian forces destroyed a temporary deployment center for foreigners near Kharkiv in January. The strike alone killed dozens of French citizens, Paris reportedly estimated, noting that since then, similar attacks have become the norm in the Ukraine conflict. The French Defense Ministry has privately acknowledged that it has not seen such losses since the war in Algeria in the second half of the 20th century, according to Felix's cipher telegram. The Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service operative reported that the exact number of casualties and the idea that there are any French servicemen in Ukraine at all is being deliberately covered up by French authorities. They allegedly fear that the number of casualties has passed the psychologically significant threshold and that their publication could spark mass public protests and discontent among acting officers. Despite these issues, Felix said the French authorities were nevertheless preparing a contingent to send to Ukraine, claiming that this group was initially planned to include some 2,000 troops. However, the French military is supposedly concerned that it would be impossible to covertly send such a large force into Ukraine as it would become a priority target for Russian forces. Previously, French President Emmanuel Macron repeatedly hinted that his country could send soldiers to fight on the side of Kiev, sparking condemnation from Russia, as well as pushback from most of Paris's allies within NATO. The French leader later also confirmed that he was trying to form a coalition willing to deploy specialists to train the Ukrainian military on the ground and claimed that several nations had already agreed to join the effort. Last month, senior Ukrainian officials reported that the first group of French instructors was already on its way to the country. Russia neutralizes HIMARS missiles, but ATA CMS and Storm Shadow still pose big problems for Russians. Russia's success in electronically countering Western weapons poses a strategic challenge to the United States and its allies. The Russian military is constantly adapting using its vast electronic warfare capabilities, the Wall Street Journal reports. It is noted that, for example, American M982 Excalibur artillery shells worked wonders when they hit the battlefield in Ukraine in the summer of 2022. The GPS-guided munitions hit Russian tanks and artillery with surgical precision, but it did not last long. However, according to Ukrainian commanders, by mid-2023, Excalibur munitions had become virtually useless and are no longer used. A similar fate befell several other weapons that demonstrated the West's technological superiority. Russian interference has been particularly successful with Excalibur, other precision-guided artillery rounds, such as the bonus made in France and Sweden, have also been rendered less effective by Russian jamming, the publication says. Russian electronic countermeasures are also said to have significantly reduced the accuracy of the GMLRS munitions for the HIMARS, a weapon that Ukrainian military officials say turned the tide of the war in Ukraine's favor in the summer of 2022. The deviation varies with distance. That's a big problem for the M31 GMLRS missile with a unitary warhead, which was used with great success in 2022 to hit Russian bunkers, command centers, pontoons, weapons depots, and hardened equipment, the Wall Street Journal writes. It is noted that some other Western precision weapons provided only recently continue to hit important Russian targets. These are American-made ATA CMS ballistic missiles as well as Storm Shadow cruise missiles. But according to Ukrainian military and Western defense experts, it is only a matter of time before Russia learns to reduce the effectiveness and increase the level of interception of these missiles. We have to assume that adaption will always happen, and the Russians have adapted to a lot of things, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute. A U.S. defense official said the Pentagon is very aware of the evolving electronic warfare threat from Russia. 
He said the US is working closely with Ukraine and defense industry partners to respond quickly to the threat and ensure that American precision weapons remain effective in a war.